Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and today I am taking one yard of fabric and adding a scrappy X to just perk up that pretty piece of flannel. I'm going to press my fabric, my scraps of fabric, and then I'll be cutting them into strips to add to my simple little baby blanket. Some of my strips are already two inches wide, but some of my scraps need to be trimmed, so I am going to trim them all to about two inches, and this measurement did not need to be exact because I will be sewing all the strips together and then cutting them to two and a half inches. That is really the measurement that I need to remember. They're all going to be two and a half inches chunks when I get them all sewn together. So I'm sewing them together in groups of two and then after I have some twos I will sew the twos together into fours and that is when I'll be trimming them to two and a half inches. I'm going to make sure that all of these scraps match pretty well with my fabric here with all those fun colorful tractors and I think they are matching pretty well so I'm going to now cut all of my strips into two and a half inch pieces. I even laid two of my strip sets together and I'll be cutting these all two and a half inches. After getting them all trimmed to two and a half inches, I'm going to make some long strips of scraps. 
I'm not going to measure quite yet. I'm just going to get a bunch put together and in just a minute I'm going to cut my fabric. Here's my fun fabric with colorful tractors. I'm going to try to get this piece of fabric into a square piece, as square as possible. So the first thing to do is line up the salvages and fold on my cutting mat and then cut a straight line on one of the edges. After getting one straight cut, I'm going to fold it diagonally. I'm going to put that straight cut next to a salvage and try to get this folded into a sort of a triangle and then I will be trimming along that other edge. So here's the edge of my fabric and I'm cutting straight across hoping to get this into a really nice square piece of fabric. I started with one yard so I lost a little bit of fabric here. Now I need to cut this into four triangles. So I'm going to start right here using the fold, lining it up on my cutting mat, and since it's a little bit longer, I just folded up that edge using the corner and the lines on my big ruler. I'm going to try to cut this in half. That's one cut. Now I need to cut these two big triangles into two smaller triangles. So I'm going to mark the fold right in the middle with a pin because I need to cut from the bottom left point that you can't see up to the top. So I'm going to put this right at the halfway point so I have a mark and I'm going to cut right along that um, point to the pin. And this worked pretty well for me. I lined it up on the fold and I was able to get a pretty good straight line doing that. Did the same thing with the other piece of fabric and now comes the fun part. Now remember all of these edges that we just cut are on the bias. This is flannel so it's very uh, stretchy if you pull on it, tug on it. So I tried to be really careful with those edges. Then I took a long piece of my scrap and I laid it on one of those triangles. I pinned it and I sewed it on. Now that I have that first long piece of scraps sewn on, I will add the other triangle. I'll do the same thing with the other two triangles, adding a piece of scraps right through the middle there, being careful with that um, edge of fabric that I cut on the bias so it doesn't stretch out. I have one more piece to add and this is a really long piece of scraps that I put together and of course these long strips of scraps need to be a little bit longer than that end point because you need to make uh, you need to square it off in the end so I'm going to pin this all on stick it on this left side and then I'll add the right side and we'll be almost done.
After pressing this pretty blanket, I'm going to square the corners, just using a ruler and making a square corner on each of the four corners. Here's the pretty backing. It's just a little bit bigger than the top. Now this is not a traditional quilt. This is just a soft baby blanket, a two layers of flannel that um, not really considered a quilt because it's not three layers. So I call it a baby blanket, but maybe you have a better name. That's not very original. I put the right sides together. That backing is just a little bit bigger than one yard. I left an opening so that I can turn it right side out. I trimmed the corners and I'm almost done. After pressing all the edges, I'm going to top stitch all the way around, closing that opening that I needed to turn this right side out. This is such a pretty little blanket. I hope you're inspired to use your scraps and make something pretty for the next baby in your life. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time. <music>